Hello! So... Oh, hold on. I've, uh... I've gotta mute myself. Because that's annoying for me. I'm gonna go ahead and start up some music for you guys. Let me make sure that's the right track that I want. So sorry that I didn't, uh... You know test this out first. <laughs> there we go. Should be starting. Why is the music not starting? Oh, weird. Okay, um, that track isn't working. So we'll go with this one. There we go. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm gonna mute myself over there. I'm gonna get started. I didn't get to see any of that, but that's probably for the best. Anyway, so, I'm gonna be... Kind of, I don't know if I'm gonna do this in a two-part process yet, or if I'm going to do this all at once, just to get it over with. But basically, I'm gonna be designing a turtle slide for Tortellini, my little tortoise. And you probably can't see him in this picture. No, you can't. But um, based on how I zoomed in, you can probably make the guess that he is in there. He's actually probably right about here, buried under all of this substrate. Uh, he also likes to bury himself here. Um, and he used to bury himself here, here, here and here. So he likes to bury himself in that substrate when he sleeps, and that made me think that maybe he feels like he's not being protected well enough by the hide that I have for him. But the problem is, I don't want him to grow out of a hide. That's I don't want him to grow out of an expensive hide, and then. He can't fit through the doorway or something because his shell is too big. And so I thought that I would 3D print him a hide that is built into a slide because he likes to slide down things. And I have a video somewhere of that. Um, actually, I could probably bring that up. Exposing somebody. Um, I'll go with that, sure. Um, hold on. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can pull up the video of him sliding so that you can see it. Um, I should have done this sooner, but I didn't. Oh, I'm gonna have to open up photos. Sorry to make you wait for this, but I I really think that anybody who likes turtles will get a kick out of it. Oh. Oh, there's a video of my dog, which I may also show you, because it's very cute. She is very cute. Oh, there we go. Okay. Nope. Hold on. Stop it. Stop it. There we go. Alright. Nope. I need you to open up, please. There we go. Oh, gosh. Why are you being like this? Come on. Oh, my God. I... <laughs> I'm, I'm somewhat new to streaming, you can probably tell pretty easily. Um, yeah, your music should be back too. But anyway, here is Tortellini. 
of his own free will, he climbed up this himself. And he's just gonna slide down. And he also likes to... He also likes to slide down the front of this. Just kind of take a drop. Because he's, he's a little daredevil tortoise, and I love him. Uh, so I'm going to design him a slide. And I kind of had an idea for that. So, uh, before we get too started, yes, I know that this lettuce is kind of a mess, and it's kind of gross. That's, um, that's only been there since this morning. I work long hours, so I have to put lettuce in in the mornings. So that's going to get cleaned out tonight. This is his little ping pong ball, so he can push it around. It used to be over here when I put it in, and I haven't moved it since. So he, he has been playing with it. There's also a little piece of poop right behind it, but I'm not going to zoom in on that. <laughs> and yes, there is a penny in his water dish. And the reason for that is because it is a pre-1982 penny, which means it's, com it's mostly copper. It's like 98% copper, 2% zinc, I think. Um, and copper kills bacteria. And so I sanitized the penny and then stuck that in so it'll kill the bacteria. And then if Tortellini happens to pee in his dish, I will know because the water will turn blue because of the penny. And um, I did find today that if he poops in his dish, it does not change color. But there's poop in his dish, so I know that he's pooped in his dish. So, that's what the penny's for, it's to kill bacteria, and it doesn't harm him, it's just a penny. It's just a piece of copper. Um, and it has to be pre-1982, because otherwise there's too much zinc, and not enough copper to kill bacteria. So anyway, the reason I've got this picture is so that I can kind of show you what the hide will look like. Uh, by drawing it. So I'm actually gonna kind of it's lagging. Oh no. That's not quite what I wanted. Oh my gosh. Okay. Don't sass me. I'm gonna kind of just color over this. That's not what I wanted. So what I'm gonna actually do instead the greatest at this app. So we're going to try blurring it heavily. That's not going to work. No. No, it's not. How about smudging? Oh, that's way better. So basically, I kind of want to remove this from the picture so that nobody gets distracted. Especially me, since I'm easily distracted. So, we're just going to kind of smudge this all around. Just so it kind of kind of looks like the substrate. And I'm going to blur that. And that did nothing, but I don't care. Um, okay. So. And you can kind of see, that's where I'm going to put the slide. It's, yeah. Okay, so kind of my idea was to have something like... Oh, oh, that's big. That's also big. Okay, so kind of like little rails on the side so that he doesn't slide up, so that he doesn't slip off the side. But generally, and I only put the handles up there because it makes it look more like a slide. But like little rails on the side, and it'll be 3D printed. But the idea I had was to make this modular, so it's going to have kind of a clip, maybe here and here, where the handles are, so that I can change out the type of slide, so I could make it curvier, or I could make it twist, or whatever. I'm probably just going to start with a basic slide, and then I'll have kind of a main base part that's got a flat top. gonna score it on top so you know it's a separate part and for that I want to do kind of a 
kind of a um, widened base type thing, and then there's a hide in it. And it'll be closed on the bottom, because I want to put his blanket in there, because I made him a blanket. And so it's, it's going to be an actual hide, but it's also going to be big enough that he can get in it get in and out of it for hopefully a few more years. Oh, hello? Hi! Sorry, let me turn on desktop audio. There we go. Are you live streaming right now? I am. I'm not on my computer quite yet. I'm just figuring out how to do it Ooh. Yeah, I'm live streaming uh, designing Tortellini's little turtle slide. Yeah, and I showed a picture of him sliding down his current hide. Or I showed a video. Yeah, so kind of the idea, I already went over this on stream, but it's got a slide and it's modular, so it's got little clips on the top. And then there's kind of a main base part that has a hide built into the bottom. And then there's going to be another modular portion for stairs. And that way... Yeah, and that way, uh, once he gets bigger, I can just print it bigger. And I crocheted him a little blanket, so he can use that to hide, too. And then once I'm done with Tortellini's little hide, I can give him twistier slides, or curvy slides, or I can move on to Popsicle's hide. Whatever that's gonna look like. What's your... I have not decided yet. <laughs> Are they all going to be 3D printed? Yes. Yeah, honestly, it could on it it could really be like the kind of thing where if he gets under it, it kind of flips up when he walks under it and then flips back down once he's out from underneath. Yeah, cuz with 3D printing you can design hinges and Yeah. Yeah, and gravity would hold it down well enough. And that would be a really easy way to join it. And also just really easy to... It, it would make it easier for him to get around and if and he wouldn't get stuck underneath it. And that was... Yeah, and that was kind of my point with uh, store-bought hides, was that most of them are for fish and geckos. So, well, there's that, but also the holes are small. So, yeah. Tortellini is going to outgrow that really fast. And then it'll get to a point where I've got a turtle that doesn't fit in a store bought hide. Yeah, how fast is Tortellini grow? He's grown a little bit since you've seen him, but not a ton. He's still real tiny. Tort. So My deck isn't perfectly lovely, and I don't know if I should care or not, or just put on at this point. I mean, it's pretty easy to get things level. Well, it's, 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 it's mounted on the wall directly. Oh. So yeah, it's not on legs. If I had it on legs, I could get it level easy. But since it's mounted on the wall, I'd have to move like all these brackets and like, like, drill new holes. And it's mostly level, like it's still in the bubble column in the middle, it's not perfectly in the middle of the bubble column. Yeah. So at this, at this point I'm just like, you know what, it's probably fine. And also it might change too when I actually get it screwed in, because then it will probably like sit differently. Mm, yeah. And I've also kind of got music in the background of my stream. <laughs> So, I don't know how I'm going to be able to display this at the same time as 3D modeling it. Actually, I don't think I need to display it at the same time. I mean, I've so I've got the drawing. And I'll, what I'll probably do is just screen cap it, move it to my other screen so nobody on stream can see it, but that's their problem, not mine. Yeah. <laughs> Did you figure out how to get the other the other screen to work? Um, oh, the one Vic gave me? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, my dad did that, actually. He said it was really easy to uh, change the frequency on the screen. Cool. And I was just like, cool. I never learned how to do that. Neither did I. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually going to save this picture. I'm going to save that to a place I can find it again, not just some random place. Oh, it's in downloads. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's I'm not close good. that. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna. I need to keep it on the live scene drawing setting so that I can keep the music. They're pretty much the same, except drawing has the music added in. I'll be right back. I need to go grab a different drill bit. Oh. So I think, I think what I, what I can actually do is add a temporary picture in here, image. Yeah, I'll let it have a frame. Uh-oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I return to uh oh <laughs> yeah that's what you want to hear um uh -oh. generally not a great sign no um I'm trying to fix oh I know how I screwed up okay I, I'm just really bad at my job <laughs> I need to delete the webcam frame and add something different. Image. Uh, I will show you in a second. New source. Alright, we're gonna screw in the desk. I'll just join the call back when we're done. Alright, have fun. I refuse to. Okay. Let's see if it'll open. There we go. Oh gosh, okay. Um, that's a rather large picture. There we go. Can I crop that? Can I? I want to crop it. I don't think I can crop it. That's fine. This is what you guys get to see now. So I'm going to open up Fusion 360, which is my program, my 3D modeling program of choice. And it's going to take a while to load up. So, um... Let's get spooky. Not a sponsor? I don't know what this would be a sponsor from. I don't know who this would be. There's also the possibility that Fusion 360 won't load, but it looks like it is loading. And you kind of get a little preview of what's coming tomorrow. <laughs> actually gonna open up a copy of the picture that I can see. No, no, please don't do that to me. Oh, that's fusion. Thank you.
thank you for opening. Oh no. Three tabs. Okay, well, that happens. That's the photo. Move that to the other screen. Thank you very much. There we go. Okay. It looks terrible. <laughs> Okay, well, um, give me a second here. <laughs> I'm just gonna hide my email with this. <laughs> Do I remember my password? I do! Aha! Excellent. Alright, Fusion 360. Why is all three of these doing that? I only need one. Oh no, don't do that to me. Please don't do that to me. Kira's opened too. Let's close that. <laughs> Let's reduce the chances of Autodesk Fusion 360 crashing. I really don't want to start a crash count. I've had to do it before when I was in robotics. I will do it again. I don't want to, but I will. Oh, I will. Let's turn that back up a little bit so that you can actually hear me over the music. Okay. Oh, gosh. What is happening? Looks like I need to update. Oh gosh. Yeah, I guess I'll update it. Welcome to the joys of software. I may have to restart my computer, and if I have to do that, that means the stream ends, and then we'll be back. But, hopefully, I won't have to restart my computer. But I may have to. It is just an update, so we'll see. And it seems to be taking its sweet time. Let's quit Fusion 360 there. I should have checked this before starting the stream. But you know what? We'll just use this time. Oh gosh. Please don't do that to me. Uh, we will be, while we wait for Dryas to return and possibly Alex, we will just, I will just sit here and look at you. Something's happening. I'm done looking at you. <laughs> I don't know how much longer I would have done that. I really don't.
How's this? Ask questions about my tortoise in the chat while we wait for Autodesk Fusion to load up. Or you can also ask questions about Popsicle, my leopard gecko, uh, since this is a video about a hide for my tortoise, preferably ask questions about Tortellini. Please? <laughs> see if I can change my settings so that anybody can do it and you don't have to be following me since nobody seems to want to follow me. Please give me a follow if you like my content, even though my content is garbage <laughs> and you shouldn't waste your time watching my content. <laughs> but I still want the follow. <laughs> We're at 27%. <sighs> Ooh, that looks like a familiar sight. Wait. Oh, calipers on a... That looks like drive chain. No, that's a keyboard. I can't see very well. I am legally blind. Um, I'm also a little bit hard of hearing. So... If I say a keyboard looks like drive chain, that's because it actually looks like drive chain to me. But I can tell that that is a keyboard, and this guy is using calipers to measure some ring that looks like it's 8th inch. Ooh, a car. A cart. Maybe I'll play Mario Kart on stream. Mario Kart Tour, since Mario Kart Wii doesn't work on my system anymore. Because my Wii is outdated. Because it's like, what, 10 years ago? Won't even play Wii Play anymore. So I'm pretty sure it's the system and not the game. So. If you know where to find a working Nintendo Wii, let me know. Because I'd love to be able to play Mario Kart again. I am the Rainbow Road Master. You can you can actually ask my best friend about that. If I whether or not I'm the Rainbow Road Master. Um, and the reason she is a credible source is because she wanted to be the Rainbow Road Master and practice oh, for like three months. You keep cutting out, have you? Hello. Hello? Hi, Alex. Oh, you're not showing up on audio. Oh, you're not. E oh, he's not even in the lobby. Okay. Hello? You're not cutting out. Ah, you're cutting out a little bit. Ah. So it's my... I also need to turn up your volume. <laughs> there we go, that looks like that's a little better. I am updating Autodesk Fusion 360 right now, and rambling because I have nothing better to do. I could be doing homework, but instead I'm doing this. What'd you say? I could I be definitely... doing homework, but I'm not. <laughs> You're supposed to be doing homework? I could be doing homework. It's due so Sunday. So could I. So could I. <laughs> yeah, it's only due Sunday. Nice. Yeah, hopefully, this will get going. How's your first week going? Of school? It's fine. Yeah. Um, I, had the, I have the guy teaching my class who taught it last time I took it. Also, the teacher you were talking about, she's grumpy. No, she's not. I love her. She's awesome. She was for my class. Susan William rocks. Yeah, she was just grumpy with everyone. What quarter was that? This is the current quarter. What? The current quarter. 
Really? Yeah. Huh. She just seemed grumpy, you know? and and not, and I was just like, it's the first, it's the first week of the quarter. People are still getting used to things. What class are you? What class do you have her for? Social social studies. That's probably why. Mm. Yeah, because she's an electrician. Ah. Yeah, so she probably <laughs> hates social studies and does not want to be there. Because that's probably one of Judy's classes that she had to take over for. Yeah, she's just grumpy. Well, I can imagine she's not real happy about the situation right now. Yeah. Because Judy decided to retire instead of get vaccinated. Oh my and so Lord. now Susan has to teach Judy's classes and Steve has to teach Susan's classes. Also, I like the turtle cam. Well, that's just a picture. That's not a oh, that's not a turtle cam. That's a picture that I drew on. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I was like that's Portolini's area. Yeah. Um I did also figure out how to hook up my tablet to stream. Awesome. Yeah. And I sent the I'm video a... in Discord. Mm -hmm. I'm really hoping to get the uh, the COVID grant. Oh yeah, me too. So that <laughs> I can get myself a new monitor. Yeah, well, if I get another the... monitor for streaming, and so I could get like a good microphone. Yeah, if I get the COVID grant, what I'll probably do is get a decent computer. Because right now I'm using my laptop, so I'm always looking down. Yeah. And that's not a that's not great. But, yeah. Um, yeah, a computer, a decent computer, and then probably use some of my own money for a microphone. Also, since Dryas isn't in, in the call yet, um, if I get the money, I can buy us engagement rings. Ooh. Because there's a guy I have already talked to, and we have the whole idea for the rings ready. I just need the money. Have you seen those really cool resin rings? No, but ours are going to be uh, wood. Ours are going to be wooden rings with like crystal in the middle. Can I can I show you the resin? Yeah, rings? sure. Yeah, uh, since Dryas is, is in the call, I'm like I think I guess some these rings. Mhm. Mm Let's see if it'll load. Oh I've yeah. I've been waiting because I've been waiting waiting months. Mhm. Mm um, to but try like... to get this those. Look at these. Those are pretty. I imagine they're pretty bulky. Yeah. Yeah. But still, that's gorgeous. That's really pretty. Yeah. Oh, that one's really cool. It has planned. Well, and these ones would not be bulky. That's one that I would like because mm -hmm. ocean. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh. For our rings, uh, uh, each, each of our rings are going to be our favorite uh, wood, mm -hmm. and then collectively uh, our favorite gem, which is amber. Nice. So we're going to have uh, Bryce's is going to be uh, birch or uh, aspen, and mine's going to be redwood. Nice. And I've been waiting for months. I need to for them. That's awesome. So I'm like super excited. I hope just I hope Bryce doesn't ask. Hey, where did that like two hundred go? I'm like, <laughs> don't worry about it. Just hey, we're missing a lot of money here. Do you know anything about that? <laughs> no. No idea. Oh. No idea. <laughs> what money? No idea. We never had any money. <laughs> okay. I uh, okay. Well, you know what? This has become a tutorial on how to get educational access to Autodesk products because <laughs> I need to redeem mine. So <laughs> it's become a tutorial. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I have no idea if my audio is good because apparently when I was streaming earlier, my audio was crap. It but sounds like it's why. just fine. 
like, I don't know why, because I did a fuck this uh, recording, and it sounded fine, but apparently it was, like, glitching out during my stream. So me and Dress are going to work on that later. Fuck. Ah, they're sending me pictures of uh, their desk. It's all Ooh. set up. Let me just cover the email portion with the turtle. <laughs> with the turtle? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that looks nice. Yeah, we did it all by hand. Nice. Oh, see a little bit of dryness in the background there. <laughs> <laughs> I think... Mm, I mean, for the budget, I think it looks really, really good. But, like, eventually, I think you could get a big slab of wood with, like, a lot of knots and knurls in it and fill the cracks with resin like you see on... Uh, yeah. In those videos. That would be really, really cool. Yeah, Drys just specifically wanted birch. Mm-hmm. And that's something I plan to do for, like, a dinner table. For nice. once I've moved into an actual house and actually yeah, have yeah, a that's steady specifically, income. That's specifically Baltic Birch. Nice. And uh, Dry Sucks using it, so that's why we picked it. Nice. And it was actually cheaper than we expected it to be. Well, I imagine Birch is pretty cheap. Mm -hmm. Um, I really like Walnut. I have a walnut finish on the side table I made in 8th grade, and also nice. the footstool I made in 8th grade, which has mysteriously disappeared, now that I think about it. Because I did keep it under the side table, and the side table is right over here. It's gone. <laughs> did your mom take it? I doubt it. She wouldn't want it. Yeah, it just... Oh, disappeared. Yeah. I mean, they did take the uh, tall stool back with them, which is good. I wanted my dad to take that with him. I've been wanting one of my parents to take that with them for like over a year, and they finally did. Button. Please select your institution type. Um. What if I say I'm in s I'm still in high school? <laughs> Like, Sorry, I failed senior year three times. <laughs> so my video got like three views. Post secondary. Uh, I was playing Kill It with Fire. Ooh, I have that game. But looking at the recording, apparently everything was laggy. Oh. And I don't know what was up. Oh, let's cover my information real quick. As much of it as I can. As much of it as I can. Uh-oh, everyone knows my date of birth now. <laughs> and my email. Great. <laughs> Great! That's why I specifically made a uh, email for my, like, Twitch and everything. Yeah. Like, like specifically for my social medias, and just, it's a totally separate email. Yeah, but this email is already saved in there from when I filled this out two years ago. Mm, makes sense. Something's not quite right. We're unable to confirm your eligibility. <laughs> <sighs> Does it... It might require my other name. Oh no. I hate things like that. It worked. So, so yes, it did confirm. It did require that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I hate shit like that. Yeah. What's funny though is I actually have the correct name in Skadjaval area in Spokane College now. So you do. It's not like the main one, but yeah. it's in there. Get awesome. Autodesk software. I've been using Autodesk for years. I love Autodesk. I've been to the Autodesk headquarters. 
Oh, nice. They have a beanbag lounge. <laughs> I've also been to Microsoft, and they have a mini fridge full of sodas. Oh, wow. Yeah, all free for the employees. Which is probably terrible for their health. Totally. But also, they're all software engineers, so if they're not fed a steady diet of Mountain Dew or Pepsi, uh, <laughs> they go crazy. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, I only know one software engineer who was never on soda, and right now he's in Idaho on his Mormon mission, so. Um. um fun. Yeah. Did you hear about the Mario movie? I saw a reworked poster. Chris Pratt as Mario. Oh, no. Uh, no. Jack Black as Bowser. No. <laughs> Actually, Jack Black is Bowser. I approve of that, but oh, yeah, Chris totally. Pratt is Mario, really? Yeah. At least then... at least cast an Italian. Italian, <laughs> please. Yeah. Chris Pratt. I mean Bowser's a dinosaur, so oh, hey, whatever. <laughs> but yeah. Bowser, Jack Bowser Black has the range to play a dinosaur. Oh, yeah. He played a woman in a man's body. He can play a dinosaur. <laughs> I don't think Jack, Jack Black just has the range. I think he has the right. <laughs> he has play. the range. He has the right. He, he, I'm sure that he, he uh, in another lifetime, he could be a dinosaur. I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm saying. A, I'm, I'm not he, stable today. <laughs> he, you know, he has a YouTube gaming channel. Jack Black does? Yes. That's incredible. He played I think he made uh, it for his son, but then it just ended up being his channel. Yeah, and uh, he played FNAF with uh, Markiplier. Nice. This desk might be a little too tall. Standing desk. Mm -hmm. That happened when I get... that happened when I built my desk when I was uh, um, a little bit manic after going on my meds for the first time. Or you just need a taller chair? Yeah, taller chair works. Can't your chair, like, go up and down? It can. I The desk leveled itself out, which was nice after he screwed it in. Mm -hmm. I knew it was going to be tall, but it's real tall. <laughs> yeah, uh, just, just... You know, sometimes it's kind of hard to... I also am so used to working the metric system that mm -hmm. when, I when I did this, I used inches and stuff because that's what the wood shop would recognize. And I'm mm. sure I could have used the metric system, but I just didn't want to be that guy. Oh, did you order it from somewhere? <laughs> no, I I uh, designed it in like a blueprint, and then since I don't have a table saw at home, I made the cut list from mm. one piece of plywood. And since I don't have a table saw, I had to bring it there and be like, "Hey, I need I'm buying this plywood, and can you cut it into these shapes for me with I mean, these dimensions?" I have a circular saw that you could use. Oh, yeah, I probably should have done that. <laughs> I don't think you knew that I had a circular saw. <laughs> no, I did not. But it, it's all right. It's it's just a little tall. I mean, it might just I might just need to get used to it. Mm -hmm. But uh, I made the the drawers. If you look in the photo, I made them like four inches wide because I wanted to be able to reach to the very back of them. Mm -hmm. uh, they did not need to be that tall. They do not need to be this big. They're huge. Right. It's been a long time since I've done any CAD, so... Oof. Okay. Um... Alright. Also, if you look at the photos, what do you think of the resin? I don't know how I feel. Um, I think it looked fine before we added the gold, and I, I would have gone without the black. So I kind of already mentioned this to Alex. Um, I think it looks great for what it is. Um... Because it's just kind of like a piece of plywood. And that's mm -hmm. hard to do. And for that, really, you kind of need like a full layer of resin. With... And uh, I don't... It, it does... It looks kind of faded. So I feel like you could sand it off and retry it if you wanted to. Or um, just like put like a darker color over it. Yeah. yeah. I the goal, the goal was so you could still see the wood under it. Because I like the look of the wood. Mm. 
so I wanted to still be see, see the wood, but then the yellow became way too yellow. It was supposed to be gold, but it ended up just looking like yellow. What you could also do is if if you don't want to see the resin, if you don't care about the resin all that much, what you could do is sand that off and then just use like a mineral oil on it to really enhance the color of the wood. Yeah. And then I, you just have to re-oil it every once in a while. I oiled the rest of the desk. I didn't do the top because oil does make it waterproof, but I wanted the resin coat literally just so it'd be waterproof. Oh. Uh, and yeah, it was a nightmare to sand. So if I do anything else to the surface, I'll probably just add more resin to it. Yeah. It's just hard now it's on the wall. But you know what? It's fine. <laughs> well, it's still still doable. Come. It's still a desk. The black looks terrible. Uh... I wanted like black lines and that did not happen. Mm. But it's a learning process. We learned from it. Yeah. You probably should have done some test pieces. <laughs> the, the, if you've seen the picture, we did. I just Did you? Yeah, yeah. but I, I did different colors in the test piece than I did in the mm. final piece and that's why it looks like this. Cuz like there's a there's like a little wooden block below the picture. Oh, I see. That's a that's a riser for the PC. Uh, so that way it's not like directly on the floor, so it won't pick up as much dust. Mm. Uh, and that one I kind of like the way it looks, because it's very subtle. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a nice pink, and that's what I wanted. Uh, <laughs> this one uh, was not. <laughs> and like, we kept trying to do things to make it look better, and then I think it just kind of like, became muddled because we did so much to it. Mm -hmm. But also, there's going to be so many things on this desk that... I don't think I'm going to notice. I think I'm just noticing right now because I worked on it for so long and I'm a perfectionist. Yeah. But that kind of is the curse of resin. That just sometimes does not look the way you want. Mm -hmm. It's five inches. It's probably going to be... Yeah, I think that's good. How loud am I? This is a test of like how far the microphone should be back. Do I sound normal or what do I sound like? Uh, you sound normal to me, but I don't know how it sounds on stream. But my desk is done. It took like a week, but you know what? I like it. It'd be like that. Well, I, mean, I was like, I can't find a desk that will fit these dimensions. Yeah. Because it needs to be, like, very specific dimensions. And then we bought Alex's desk for, like, 40 bucks, and it was the exact dimensions. Mm. So. Yeah, I need to I need to get rid of my desk and get something that doesn't require four muscular men to lift. I am weak from doing nothing for the last two years. That's fair. And my That's desk weighs probably... 400 pounds. Why, mm. why do you have such a, a thick desk? It's because it was going, free! Right? <laughs> probably like refurbish it. It would be nice. Oh yeah, if I sand it, I need to sand down the, well, if I was gonna keep it I would sand down some of the stuff on top because there's like hardened gunk from the people who owned it before me because it was a bank desk. And that's mm. why I got it for free because they were cleaning out a bank and it's a lazy boy desk. So like really good quality but I hate yeah. how heavy it is and I just kind of hate a lot about it just cut chunks out of it just just like square chunks just cut it in half yeah cut it in half yeah there you go. uh I'm excited uh I get a, like two or three pieces for my microphone that will show up tomorrow mm -hmm. and then I'll have my entire setup set up tomorrow besides like one piece I'm waiting on for my microphone that is just like a vibration dampener nice and then it'll be 100% set up and then when Alex gets uh, like some money he's gonna buy a microphone and I, I got extra microphone parts so streaming should be more streamlined lol I'm a comedian <laughs> I'm a genius I am worried that I'm making the hide too big. I gotta, like, open your stream. Wow. Uh-oh. 
Who left? What? What happened to Alex? Alex uh oh. Oh, God. oh no. What did you do? I did nothing. Oh, we thought you died. Oh. Yes, he's still dead. Uh oh. What? <laughs> what? Can someone explain to me? Like, I'm still learning Twitch, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm not logged into Twitch right now. I just opened a window with Twitch open. Yeah. Why is the second result for, uh, like, someone going to Twitch for the first time, someone licking, uh, like, a 3D microphone? Like, why is that it? Can why not? Can explain that to me? Why not? Is it because I watch, like, ASMR sometimes, that it just is Probably. like, oh, you want to listen to people licking mics? Probably. That's what you want. Very possible. Why you, gotta, why you gotta do me dirty like that, Google? I don't like that shit. I'm too gay for that. <laughs> I hate that. I, I was showing Alex, I've been doing, like, research into VTubing, but a side effect of that has been the fact that now my YouTube community page is just fucked up. Like, because, like, because your community page on the Discover page isn't channels you follow, it's just random channels. Yeah. So I keep getting, like, random community posts from, like, these, sh like, uh, VTube stands uh, with, with just, like, sexy photos of VTubers. I'm like, how is this allowed on YouTube? <laughs> like, how, like, you can't say fuck in the first minute of a video, but for some reason they can have a fully naked anime woman blasted on the, my front page. Yeah. How? Yes. Someone explain. I have no idea. America explain. America explain. <laughs> Why is it a... Ooh, Why the turtle it? cam. It's not a turtle cam, it's just a picture. <laughs> oh. I don't have turtle cam set up yet. I need another camera for that. Okay. I will eventually have a camera set up for just for watching my pets it'll be turtle cam during the day and gecko cam at night nice and i'll just have like a little bit of light so that you can actually see what she's doing because she gets up to all kinds of stuff in the middle of the night but i'm not awake yes, to see it because i've gotten up at like three in the morning because i don't sleep well because i have insomnia and she'll be trying to climb the bamboo, or she'll be on her bridge, or doing all kinds of stuff, and during the daytime, she's just in her rock the entire time. Rocking out? Just chilling. I'm so sad you didn't laugh at that joke. I worked so hard for that. Sure. I went and had a kid <laughs> just so I could make a dad joke, and you didn't even laugh. You don't have a kid. No, I'm adding it to the lore. Since I said I live on the moon, I'm just gonna add this to the lore, you know? You don't have kids. What would the name of the kid be? Bikel. Bikel? Is that what you said? Like Michael, but bike. <laughs> uh, Jack. Jack Bikel? That's like a, a that's a news reporter name. That's a tonight at ten with Jack Bichel. Sports. Oh. The cycling event. Tonight at ten with Jack Bichel. Cycling downtown? Question mark. What is my teleprompter even saying? Why do I keep reading it? Who's writing this? Have you ever actually used a teleprompter? I have. It's not fun, is it? It's weird. It's not... It's not that bad, actually. Like, it's not super hard. It's just weird. I Like, I didn't like it. I, I never really had a problem with it. Because you were in your school's, like, uh, technology thing, right? I was in my middle school's film club. Ah. Yeah. And I can never find the CD... For all the videos. That's that's so that's sad. And I know that it's somewhere in my parents' house. Well, did you? But did they're you hoarders, those... so I can't find it ever. Did you ever use those uh, terrible like green screen displays? Like the green screen, green screen like news set. You mean background? like the one that I showed you last time you were over here? Yes. 
Yes, I was Those I was on that set one time. They're hilarious. There's a video of me in that set. <laughs> it's awful. They had like I, I remember when I was in school we had like a whole like room just for green screen. Like and it was an entire green screen room with like curved walls and everything. Like it was cool and all we used it for was that and I felt so disappointed. Yeah. It'd be like we that. Used it, we used it for that set and then one person for their senior photo took a photo in there and then made his senior photo him riding a pterodactyl. Wearing like a cowboy suit. Incredible. Don't know how they got that past uh, editing, but you know what? There's also what? in one of the okay. year, there's also in one of the yearbooks uh, someone had wrote <laughs> there's two twins uh, that went to that school at the same time. So their senior quote was w one of them had their senior quote as the tw I didn't choose the twin life, and then the other one was the twin life chose me. And That's... that amount of forethought, I'm just impressed by. My senior quote was just, you don't need a parachute to skydive once. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I never did a senior quote. I, I, got, I was so tired of high school that I did, like, my last year and a half online. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even tell anybody I was doing that. I just, like, showed up to school one day, and then I never came back. Like, that was it. Like, yeah. I, I'm, I, maybe I'm a bad person for that, but I just, like... I didn't tell anybody I was leaving, I just left. I was like, I'm done with this shit, and I just left. That's fair. Yeah. I I never did a senior picture. And my dad always my dad wishes that I had. Um And I kind of wish that I had for him, but it was never something that I wanted. Never do anything out of guilt. You yeah. know? Live yeah, but like it would have been nice to have a scene, have a senior picture. That's fair. And I, if if it if the robotics competition that I did really well in was before senior pictures were due, I would have turned in that picture because that's a really good picture. I like. Hmm. I, I, I didn't even want to do my graduation because to me, like I've always struggled with school. Not a fan of school. And so graduating wasn't a big deal to me. And I know for a lot of people it is, and it's very important to them and their families. But to me, it just I it wasn't my thing. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really care. Uh, but I did my I did a graduation, even though I was online, just so my family would have it, like have that thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> but since it, I, I graduated from an online school for the last year and a half, I graduated with a whole bunch of people that I never met and almost all of them were like awkward homeschool kids. It was real interesting. Yeah. Well, that is so much fun. I I uh I wasn't like like fully out yet and uh like I don't even I don't think I was like even fully out to myself at that point. Uh but I literally wore like pastel pink shorts, a white button up with pink polka dots on it. And I had a, like, on my graduation cap, had, like, a pink sparkly grad on it. Uh, and, uh, it was so very gay. I dressed like a twink, even though I don't have the body of a twink. <laughs> At least I used to dress like a twink. Uh, so the, since, so there was one gay kid in the graduation who saw that, and then just relentlessly hit on me. The Ugh. entire time we were doing, like, the practices and everything. And I just wasn't into it. <laughs> so, like, at some point, they, at, they he just directly asked me, like, are you gay? And I'm like, uh, uh no. <laughs> you didn't know yet. I think he asked me after I complimented a girl's nails. I was like, you got great nails. And then she, he's like, are you gay? And I'm like, uh. If you don't want the curvature, Matt, you could always do a, a plane offset from your object and then just, like, extrude from that. Yeah, I know. I just... Or I think there's also a way to, like, make take an object and then... It's just been a duplicate. long time since I've 3D modeled. 
Well, I, I think you can also take an object, duplicate it, and then make the size slightly smaller and just line it up on the inside of the other object and just cut out a perfectly, like, cut out version of, it, of itself. I don't know if that made any sense. It's hard to describe with words. Rias. The yeah. furnace broke. The what? The super smumps are broke. Oh, is the cart ah. stuck again? I think something's stuck. I fixed the cart. Wait, no, never mind. That was my fault. What did you do? It wasn't turned on. Ah, okay. <laughs> that will do it. It sure will. Should I, play, should I open up Minecraft? Should I just play Minecraft while we're talking? That's what I'm doing. Sure. I'm just gonna be building my uh, my huge castle. <laughs> I got uh, I didn't buy them because uh, I intentionally wanted curved monitors, but I got curved monitors because they were some of the cheapest, highly rated ones I could find. Mm -hmm. So I'm really interested to see what that's gonna look like with two of them next to each other. I have like an eighth of a circle around me. My dad had four monitors on his old work computers, or on Jeez. his old work desk. That's a lot. What is he? He's using? an IT guy, so he kind of needed that amount. I did IT. I, I, and I say IT in quotation marks because I was getting paid by a school district to go around and clean all their computers, so it wasn't really IT. It was just like cleaning a server room mm -hmm. and then going around and like deep cleaning like computers like taking them apart and like vacuuming them and air compressing them still haven't found my praying mantis uh oh she escaped this morning oh no I don't know where she is either she's hiding in the room or the cat's got her did I I have no idea did I tell you that, uh, that morning gecko got out? Oh, did it? Yeah, it's behind the fridge, so it's either dead or I'm gonna have a lizard infestation. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Did it get out? What do you mean, how did it get out? <laughs> Lizards get out because they want out. <laughs> That's it, yeah. You're fair. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> But I was changing out her food dish, and she's just like, well, time to leave. He said goodbye. Yeah, and I, in the process of trying to catch her, I just spooked her onto the fridge, and then she crawled behind. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, Matt. It's fine. We'll find her eventually. Eventually. Or she'll be dead, and it'll be the next renter's problem. Or, uh... <laughs> You'll just start seeing babies everywhere. Oh god, I hope not. <laughs> I really hope not. He's gonna just start seeing babies everywhere. No. Uh oh. Let's oh dry. no. Dry, what's up? I was placing water on the top of my tower last time we were playing. Uh huh. And I just realized that some of that water had leaked over the side of the tower. Uh huh. Then leaked leaked into the redstone for the super smelter uh, like farm oh no and uh, uh -oh. Other, all the redstone destroyed oh uh oh Jesus. I'm sorry Not, Dred. Like, all of it but enough of it to be annoying I'm sorry let's see if I can fix it Getting to it is the hard part, too. Because it's, like, in a awkward position because I had it, like, buried so that way you wouldn't see it. Well, the villager breeder's going absolutely nuts. Yep. How's the super duper smelter working out? Really good. It's awesome. How often do you plan on streaming, uh, Matt? Uh, I've been streaming 
daily when I can. I'm gonna try to do every single weekday. Yeah. To start with, for like at least four hours a day. Just going nuts. I want to like really like pursue this, so I'm gonna try to do every weekday for like four hours. Yeah. To begin with. But if you guys want to play multiplayer games, I am up for like multiplayer games on the daily. I love multiplayer games. I mean, weekend is gonna be a lot easier for me. True. Have you looked up Dread Hunger yet? I like that. Have you looked at any of the videos of that game? Um, no. I it is in my wish list on Steam though. I think you would really like it if you like uh, the uh, sus game. Uh, what is it called? Among Us. us. That one, yeah. If you like that game, <laughs> I love what Dredge just, 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 just the calls sus, it sus game. game. I, I mean, what? I, I, I mean, that. isn't that what it is? Kind of, yeah. You're not wrong. All right, now I gotta figure out the the way to connect the base. Or not the, or yeah, I need to figure out how to connect the slide and the the ladder. You know, I'm really. Excited to show you guys, Matt. What? The the PC. Yeah. I'm excited to show you guys the PC. Cause uh, I, it's just been sitting in its box, and I want to set it up so badly, but sorry, I'm just trying. I want to set it up, but I need to. Uh... Why can't I talk? I'm sorry. I'm like in the <laughs> middle of like doing redstone so my brain is way too hyper focused on what, like the task at hand that's fair okay how am i going to uh it has like art the 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 rgb lights for, so it goes faster you know mhm mm it's like orcs in 40k painting all their things red so they go faster that actually a thing in 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 warhammer lore uh, if an orc believes something hard enough, it becomes reality. So they believe that if something's painted red, it goes faster. So all of their vehicles are painted red. Okay. Sure. Nice. I mean, I can't judge them. That's the way work. <laughs> yeah, what if you... to get to the to the the moon, we just need to paint something more red. <laughs> Like that, what if that was the so like if I found the reddest red color and painted yeah. my car red and built a really steep you ramp back in time. and you'd I just go you'd go so fast you'd go back in time no no and I and then I built a really steep ramp to go to the moon <laughs> oh okay okay I see where you're going yeah no I think you would just shoot through the moon like, <laughs> like an leave a little cannon. hole in the moon that, yeah. that'd be it. Well, that's one step for man. What the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> we're, was that a C Max? <laughs> <laughs> that dinky little car? I feel like, like I need to show what my you... car is on stream. What's just the because... weirdest car you could you could shoot into space though? Like, what would be the most like? What the fuck? Okay. Because we've sent a Tesla to space, so what, what else? What's a next? Buggy. Well, how about this? <laughs> Ford C Max. <laughs> but have you considered Hold on. a scooter? An 18 wheeler. <laughs> <laughs> what would be in the. What, would it be like without a, like a, a tow? Or like what, what would be in the container it's carrying with it? Drugs. No. Um. Sorry. That's. <laughs> Red paint. More red paint. <laughs> More red so paint. It, it's full so of it, red paint for maximum velocity. And then also that means when it hits the, <laughs> hits the moon, it's, <laughs> it leaves a little splatter mark. Wait, but that would mean the, the, moon, the moon would, would increase or, uh, speed of orbit. Or that would screw with all of our oceans. Would, the moon would get farther direction. away because it would be moving faster. Mm. And then our oceans would either be higher or the gra or it would get so far away that we wouldn't have our oceans. Have you ever right, played we Skyrim, wouldn't have the Matt? waves. What? This sounds unrelated, but it's related. Have you ever played Skyrim? I have! Part Did of I it, because I got stuck. 
and then I kind of went, uh, whatever. <laughs> it's a good game. You should try it again. It is a good game. Right. I've played the first, I played like the first 30 minutes of it twice. <laughs> It's alright, I've played the first 30 minutes of that game like a hundred times. Yeah. I've played, played the, the first 20 times. levels of of Neverwinter hundreds of times, probably. So, I, it, uh, in Skyrim, I've played that game for years, and I didn't realize until very recently when I started, like, when I was playing, that it has two moons. And I don't know, like, who made that choice, but I didn't realize the world had two moons, and I've been playing it for years, and I feel like you should notice another moon. Yeah. I I don't remember if I noticed that or not. Cuz the world of Exandria has two moons. So it's kind of one of those things where it's just like, eh, D&D worlds have two moons. <laughs> Is that just like a fantasy thing like, oh yeah, a fantasy world, multiple moons. My fantasy world that you guys will be playing in does not have two moons. It has one moon. But the yeah. planet does have rings. I thought you were going to say it has no moons. It has one moon, but the planet also has rings. Because the like the renderings of that look really cool. I'm try I need some tips. If you got anyone in your chat, I need tips cuz I'm trying I'm pretty sure there's the nobody in my chat. Uh let me what? actually check. Not with that attitude. <laughs> uh Alex is in my chat. <laughs> And I think Streamlabs um, is the other one. Uh, Ripdog, Dinatera, Elgrotta. Oh. Well, yes, but I don't think they can chat unless they follow me. Streamlabs and, uh, do you have a followers only chat? I might. I don't know how to turn that off. You should uh, probably turn that off, because that will help with uh, engagement. Yeah. Yeah. If it's, oh, there's I'm the not... settings button. It's behind my drink. Yeah. Oh uh, no, yeah, followers several. only chat is off, so you start typing. Yeah. <laughs> start typing, goddamn. <laughs> start saying things. There's no excuse now. What did I sh what why did I Yeah, there's like no blocks on this except for all of the slurs and spare swear words and stuff. Like, obviously don't start ranting slurs and everything. Is that not how you like to spend your Tuesdays? It's not Tuesday. It's Friday. <laughs> that didn't answer your question. <laughs> but you know, like, people say it's like, it's five o'clock somewhere, and then I, just, I guess it's just Tuesday somewhere. Five o'clock. So. Neither of those statements are true, though very also true, but... It's not always five o'clock somewhere. But have you considered? Right? Alex, my mug is a cauldron. Jealous. I got it at Winco. Damn it. Go to Winco. <laughs> we were at Winco. Oh! <laughs> like, we were! Time to open up my other drink. What you drinking? Tea. Nice. Ow, fingernails hurt. Why is it so hard to open? I uh, I made I made myself a smoothie because uh, my mom uh made us a Pinterest uh page uh -huh. for uh wi for ways to get healthier. Ooh. So I decided to make myself a smoothie. Nice. My mom just bullies me into trying to be healthier, and then I get too depressed, and then I stop being healthier. My uh, my mom like like likely encourages it. She's like, you don't have to be, but it'll help your body because I have a lot of health issues. Yeah. So she's like, hey, it might help your it might help your health issues, and I'm like, all right, definitely try. about to crash the server, just don't worry about it. Yeah, please don't. No, it's fine. Please don't? It's fine! No, it is not! 
it's break not. Stuff. Don't break stuff. Please. Gotta pull the lever. Dry ass. Gotta pull it. My pull title it. in high school was breaker of things. Actually, it was destroyer of things. And that's not a joke. Where did that come from? Yeah, where did you that break? Come from? What did you break that was bad enough that it gave you the nickname Destroyer of Worlds? Twenty thousand dollar robot. Fuck. <laughs> 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 to be fair, it was my job to test it. Jesus. And Christ. so, if I'm breaking it in testing, it's sure as hell gonna get broken at competition. So, like, the whole point was to break That's things fair. while we could work on it. But it still earned me the nickname of Destroyer of Things, despite the fact that I destroyed fewer things than Noah Heeb my freshman year, who didn't raise the the arm before going up against a curb and just snapped the arm off. Mm -hmm. I never, I never did that. I, uh, I burn, I did burn up a couple motors though. The magic blue smoke came out, so they stopped working. That's about the heart of the world. Alright. Peace. The okay. respawn point got reset. Did it? Yeah, I just spawned outside of Matt's tower. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. Alright. Uh, the server hasn't crashed yet because there's one thing broken. I like also the closer you get to the factory, the more like minecarts you hear. <laughs> Just constant, constantly moving. I thought you turned off those sounds. Uh, I think I turned them down, but I didn't turn them off. Oh. All, way. all right, Dryas, I need your help coming up with hinges. I can do that. Let me fix this machine <laughs> in a video I can game do first. That. <laughs> kind of the idea is. Just something really simple. A um, uh, ball in a cup. It will, if you just do like a ball in a cup, uh, it should just be held in from the fact that it, like, you have to put a lot of pressure to pull it out of the cups, you know. Well, hold on. Let me let me describe what I'm kind of thinking. So, okay. if you look if you look at the picture down here. You can kind of see that there's this centerpiece, and then there's stairs on one side and a slide on the other. And kind of the idea with that is, um, the whole idea of this is so that if Tortellini grows too big for it, I can just reprint it in a bigger size. But, um, so the slide and the stairs, I want to be separate pieces, A for, um, being able to print it in bigger pieces, and then B, so that if he decides to try and go under the slide, he doesn't get stuck. It'll just kind of flip up when he's walking under it, and then flip back down when he's out. Okay, let me open up the, the twist. Kind of like right a here. cat door. Just gotta look exact, at exactly what you're saying. So you want the hinges to... Can you describe it again? Sorry. So kind of like a cat door, where, um, so the hinges will be up here on these two lines. And okay. then, so like, if the slide is along here, then if he gets under the slide, so if the slide's like this, if he gets under the slide, I want him to be able to like flip it up, and then it'll just flop back down when he's out. Are, are you gonna do, um these in multiple pieces, or are you hoping to do this all in one printable solid piece? It's gonna be three pieces. So, the uh, hide itself, and then stairs, and a slide. You could do uh, bars coming out the top uh, with a little, like, flat bit at the end of them, that's a little bit wider than the bar itself, and then just do a hook on the slide, and you could just hook them into place. That's what I was thinking, yeah. That would be the easiest, I think. Uh, I, I thought you were, the reason I said the ball and cups because I thought it was getting printed in one piece. I didn't know what <laughs> piece we were talking about, but that man, the Minecraft music is loud. Okay. <laughs> uh, for that, I would say 
yeah like like a hook would be the easiest and i'm thinking of any other like easy ones for that exact purpose you could also do the opposite you could have the slide have like a little bar on it and then have the hooks on your um, actual like little structure yeah and then you just slide the bar onto the hooks Guys, what time is it? Uh, 8 p.m. Okay. How'd you see the actual people in the chat? Uh, uh, press the button that says users in chat. I don't, I don't even see that button. Uh, it's on, it's on the chat room. To the right side of the stream chat. Those users in chat give you a list. Gotta join us. Okay, that's interesting. I wonder. I wonder why. I also don't know how bots work on on this I... platform. So that's also going to be a learning. Yeah. Process. What is Streamlabs anyway? I do not know. Because that's one of the users in chat. Oh, oh that is uh, the program that I'm using to stream. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm not sure why it's in chat. Oh, you're using Streamlabs. Okay. Yep. I, I, I use OBS. OBS and Streamlabs. Yeah, are... this is Streamlabs OBS. Yeah. Awesome. You know what I did get, Matt? What? Uh, well, actually, no, I'm not going to tell you. I was, I, I'm going to wait until I have the full setup, and then you can see it, and I can be like, ha I'm proud of this. <laughs> okay. I'm excited about my setup. I was, I'm trying not to spoil it. I want to, like, do a picture of it, because I've been, like, waiting to set it up for so long. say so long, but it hasn't really been that long. I've just been spending a lot of time building a desk. No breaks, may I say. <laughs> may I had. What? With no breaks. I can break when I'm dead. You... That's what that's <sighs> what people say, right? That's They do it? They get it right? Oh, Lord. Yeah, I still can't decide how I, if I like how tall this is or not. You can always just raise your chair. Can't you? Uh, it, won't, it won't really change it that much. Okay. Just an idea. You can definitely try. Maybe it will get me to sit up straighter. <laughs> Honestly, it probably will. It's going to keep me from slouching because I, I physically cannot. Mm-hmm. By the end of this, I'm gonna have great posture. <laughs> Matt. Yeah. Minecraft mini games. So I just looked outside real quick because I heard uh -huh. some uh, cat growling. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. There's two cats out there just being mad at each other. They're not hurting each other oh, or no. anything. They're just being mad. They're just being mad. I'm loud. Sounds like cats. Yeah. Sounds like cats. They're just not happy. They're just peeved. Peep and they're other. still going. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh, remember. I guess I should probably, if we're going to do the D&D &D and like edit those down, I should probably look at our recording. If we want to do like highlights of our D and D sessions. Mm. Oh, do you want the current or the latest one? If we want to do that, do we know when we're gonna do like do those? Like what days? I was thinking Tuesdays. Tuesdays. I'm okay with that. Tuesdays I'm busy at like me. like one to two, but I'm no, the rest it, of the day on Tuesdays. Isn't that Wednesday? No, I got it. I changed it. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah. 
But I'm free the rest of the day, just not one to two. And then I'm free after like one thirty because of my classes. I'm so proud of this desk. <laughs> you should be. I, yeah. I've sanded it for a thousand years. You really that, did. Well, that is how that kind of thing goes. Yep. You sand and sand and sand and it's never done. <laughs> I'm also a perfectionist, so I sand until all the edges felt perfectly smooth to the touch, meaning like, you know, there's tiny little gaps between the pieces of wood, or like, one piece sticks out a little bit. I sanded all of that away, so it feels perfectly smooth all the way around, or at least all the places we see and touch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, zombie. And it's uh, like 320 grit on the bottom and the sides where you actually can like touch it, so it's really nice and smooth. Hey, Dryas, what's your Twitch name? Uh, Dryas Tries. I oh. forgot, I made an account today. So I, I, have, a, I have a viewer... I have a viewer that isn't Alex or Streamlabs. Ooh. I think fine. that's the first non-Alex, non-Streamlabs viewer I've gotten. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. During stream. Congratulations, <laughs> viewer number three. You have won a shout-out. That was the <laughs> shout-out. It's so over which now. One's that? Huh? Which uh, one's that? I have no idea. It only says it says three viewers, and then it's got a list of people in chat. Mm -hmm. So I don't know who it is. <laughs> but the guy has no idea. Congrats! <laughs> I don't know. I. <laughs> okay. Number three. Okay, in Bryce, I found you. Because we're all like collectively like following each other's Twitch. Yeah, I'm I'm logging in right now. Is it gonna let me save? Uh oh. What? <laughs> it might not let me save. Why? Because it didn't update that I had the that I renewed my subscription. Mm. Phone clip. What? <sighs> oh, I lost my third viewer. Uh-oh. They didn't enjoy the shout-out. <laughs> oh, no. They got scared? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Oops! They're like, like please ah. don't call me out like that. It's like, please don't. I don't appreciate that. <laughs> They're like, I thought this stream would be better. <laughs> Sorry, no but it's not gonna be me. better. I thought no one would notice me. Alright, I followed you. Sorry to the viewers out there, but my streaming is probably not going to improve. My content Ooh. will always be garbage. Why are you, uh, why are you being so mean? Stop being mean to yourself. It's a joke. Dummy. <laughs> Never a joke. Because deep down inside, you really believe that. Just It just takes, like, learning to, like, figure out like the different things that go into making streams and YouTube videos and mm -hmm. that's why I'm like excited about doing this with you guys that was a really weird way you just licked your glass but I'm just gonna ignore it <laughs> uh, that's why I'm really excited to do this with you guys is because I can actually use the skills <laughs> oh no you're doing it again no <laughs> stop it I'm making it uh, worse you are right. I can actually use the skills that I like <laughs> But don't use it at the moment. Sorry. Did you follow me? I need to. Okay. I nah, hate stop. myself so much. Stop it. I'm gonna spill it if I keep doing that. Huh. <laughs> <sighs> 
<laughs> okay. Oh, in the description. I, oh, you get a, you get a description. It's, hi, I'm, I am a trans streamer VTuber. For my description, should I just say hi? Exclamation mark. I'm your dad. Should that be it? Is that my description? Hey, you're my dad. Boogie woogie woogie. Boogie woogie woogie. woogie. You could do. Uh, uh, have you played the that mine the the new Pokemon game? It's like a Pokemon MOBA. No. It's so much fun. It's it's, it's, it's League of Legends, but Pokemon. Uh, I haven't played I... anything Pokemon since Pokemon Go. Oh, you try, you might you might enjoy it. it. Might be fun. And even before that, I think I had only ever played Pokemon Black too. And that's because I didn't exactly have a lot of money when I was a kid. And that's all I could afford, and I never finished the game, so it's not like I needed more. I I, didn't, I never got I never played that one because a lot of the DS games I had either hand me downs or like I saved up all year to get them, you know. Yeah. So I had like the ones before that, and I don't think I got I got a new Pokemon game until the Switch came out. Yeah. Um, can you explain what the bars are to me real quick? The these. The bars on top of it? The, the cylinders up here? Yeah. That That's what I thought you were describing with the the things and then yeah, the slide but... will hook onto it. Yeah? Oh. I was thinking uh, you put the bars on the, on, the, on the side. So, like, I don't know how to draw it. Uh, you have a bar coming out from each side and then you have the oh I see what it. you mean I think that would be better actually that's what I was thinking I do think that that would be better although it might be hard to do it without having it at the angle of the rest of the thing so you might have to do like uh... no I don't think it will be just gotta Let's see. Yeah, I, I, I didn't set up the the, set, the gaming setup today because today I was just like, I need sleep. So I've just been napping all day. But the desk is plugged in. It's also a floating desk. So it, it's mm -hmm. screwed into the wall and it has no legs. So I have more leg room. Ooh. That was a good ooh. Ooh. That was like the drawfee. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, it looks like the pastry lesbian can play Minecraft with us in about two hours. Ooh. If we're still playing games. It is the weekend. Yeah. I don't need sleep. Come on, babe. Got nothing else going on. I don't need sleep. You know, that whisper voice reminded me of something. You know what my favorite part of owning this microphone is? What? It's a microphone that a lot of, like, like ASM artists use. So I can get really right up in it. And it's real creepy. <laughs> Sure you're, I'm sure viewer number three really appreciated that one. Oh, viewer number three is back? No, it's is you. The, I don't it's know. You. <laughs> <laughs> it's you. It's <laughs> you. I was hoping in my heart he, viewer number three was back so I could so I could make them feel even more uncomfortable. Nope, Again, it's just you. Backlog, having the backlog of streams is still important. So even if there's not like... Yeah. A lot of viewers it's still important to also it gives you more youtube content yeah and that's why when we start doing streaming more often i'm gonna start like trying to edit some of the stuff that i think is funny mm -hmm. like for youtube or entertaining probably not everything but like yeah some of the stuff 
Because honestly, that's even like the way like YouTubers, like a lot of YouTube managers, so the people they hire just like manage their channels or like manage their like public look. Mm -hmm. Even a lot of those people just say it's more profitable just to stream and then use whatever you streamed as the content for your YouTube channel after editing. Yeah. And that's pretty much what every YouTube channel does at the moment. You can see that. So Yeah, like that. That's yeah. exactly what I was saying. Cool. Uh for sh if you print it, it would probably need supports. Yeah. So you could either so you could also like well no, that would mess with the hinge. I don't know. But you know what you can also use those pegs for if if you don't want to add because I guess the you wouldn't need the uh, let me kick it off. You wouldn't need the little pieces at the end that would block things from falling off because the stair is gonna be the is gonna be like a set width and the stairs inside are gonna be a set width, so you don't have to worry about it like sliding off one side. Yeah. So. You could even use those pegs as a way of connecting more modules to your thing. Yeah. Like, if your shape... So, like, maybe you wanted it to be bigger, so you could have... Uh, you could have another shape that has angles going in the opposite direction that you can, like, clip on to one side, and you could extend the habitat out. Mm-hmm. It's so, like, duplicate this with it open on both sides, and then have it flip the other way so it still sits flat. I'm back. Oh, hi. Oh, that would involve a lot of math. I, uh... But it is possible. I, uh, started streaming. So. What I could do I, is I could it. add, like, a little clip on the back so that there's a la so that there's stairs on the back and just have the stairs kind of be a solid piece that go up against this so that he can't get under it. And then have Megan? two slides available. And then this is a hide area, so I'm gonna put his little yeah. crocheted blanket in there. It's blue. The kitten is screaming at the door that... I heard him. I heard him scream. He's very sad. He is, he is very much needing of attention. <laughs> well, he's in my arms now. He's good. That's good. So unfortunately, I may lose this entire thing because it won't let me save. Oh no. Just ex export it to your desktop. Bounce, 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 bounce. It's weird that it won't let you save. I wonder why. Why has that? Well, I just closed it, so... Oh, because you ex your subscription expired. Yeah. Did you just close it and lose it? Well, we'll see if I can recover it. Let's see, April 16th, no, frog phone case, nope, that ain't I'm gonna it I'm going to be honest with you, Matt, sometimes with with uh, modeling, I uh, I delete the whole thing after modeling anyways and just start over, because I'm like, no, I know what I'm doing, and then I just do it better the second way around. Well, that's kind of the nice thing about learning how to do constraints, is you you kind of constrain it as you go and then if you're like oh the base is just freakishly long i need it to be mm -hmm. eight inches shorter you can just go in change that constraint and then everything else will still be relative to it oh. yeah, which is the reason that the um in robotics my designs never crashed fusion 360 and everybody else's always did because i would constrain I it and so when i would go in and edit a uh, width of something, it would conform uh, in in relation to that, and everyone else's would just like start freaking out and glitching because yeah. they didn't constrain it properly. Thank you, Wandering Trader. Uh, I definitely need to learn, learn to do that better. I I model in Fusion 360, but Fusion 360 in like a wild, uh, self-taught way, and it is not as clean and professional as when you model. Mm -hmm. Hey guys. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. On the server, I just met a wandering trader, and he gave me drip leaf. Ooh. I didn't even Ooh. think that was name, even in the game yet. I what didn't is it? Either. That's awesome. Uh, drip leaf. I don't even know what that it's, is. It's uh, something from like the like mossy caves, I think. Huh. Mhm. Mm That's awesome. Yeah. So uh, I got ten dri dri uh, drip leaves, and I have no idea how to use them yet. Hmm. But, uh... Did you, 
Yeah. Were you able, were you able to fix your audio? I have no idea. Darius, if you could go listen to my stream, because like I started streaming. I'm gonna leave the Discord call then, so I can actually yeah. hear it. Yeah. Thank you. Drip leaf. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what to do with it. It's a plant oh. that generates in lush caves to grow big. I don't Drip know how leaf. to like plant it. How are we supposed to plant um... it? Your audio is jank. Oh God. Okay. They naturally generate within the lush cave biome, which currently only generates in single blah blah blah. Probably generates in bogs, um, like the. Well, lush caves aren't in the game yet because it's not till the next. I think. Caves update. I think lush caves are technically bogs right now. Okay. Or caves underneath bogs. Um, I have no cause idea. Because that's technically where axolotls are supposed to spawn too, but they also spawn in bogs. So I figure they're really similar. Uh, you can trade them with the Wandering Trader, of course, as you yeah. just mentioned. Uh, you can obtain it by mining it using shears. Um, it drops nothing when mined using any other tool. Um... <laughs> How should I fix my it can uh, be audio? Okay. It can be placed on top of clay and moss blocks. They can also be placed on dirt, coarse dirt, farmland, grass blocks, podzol, rooted dirt, and mycelium. If these blocks are underwater. Okay. So if you're doing above water, it has to be clay or moss blocks. But I don't think moss blocks are in the game yet. Okay, good to know. Yeah. And using bone meal on it will cause it to grow into a big drip leaf. The small drip leaf is consumed in the process and cannot be retrieved. They do not grow okay. on their own. Okay. So, if you want big drip leaf, you have to use the bone meal, just like with the glow berries. That sounds good. Yeah. Read the, the, the screenshot I sent you. I did, but I don't understand what any of that means. Yeah, okay. I don't understand what any of that means. Uh, Mike. Google. Mike okay, input. One second. One second. Oh, I think. Okay. I think I know what I did. <laughs> what? Uh, I uh, I checked uh, my global audio devices, and everything was set to default, so I had to set it for my headphones. I don't know if that fixed it at all. Uh, Apply. I'm, I'm currently applying it. Okay, it's applied. So okay, I don't know. Hang up. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I think I did lose all of that model that I just made. I'm sorry. That's dumb. I really thought that it would have let me recover it. But not. Nope. I'm sorry. Well, maybe if I close it and reopen it again. Maybe. I'm sure this is very interesting for my one viewer that's probably you. Uh, I actually left the stream because otherwise it probably like slowed my stream down. My one no, viewer that game. is Streamlabs. <laughs> 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 so, not even a real viewer. <laughs> Still sounds good. Yeah, I'm just streaming, so. Yeah. Yep, I think it's gone. So I will redo that another time off of stream, um, since nobody's gonna want to watch that again. But um, 
yeah, so that's it for my street for this stream tonight. I'll probably join you guys with Minecraft later. Um, we're just figuring out the audio right now. Yeah. Yep, but that's it for now. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. Are you gonna stay in the call, or are you just gonna hang up for a bit? I'm probably gonna stay in the call. Okay.